Mm, 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 mm. Yeast rolls, yeah. Let's make, bake, and break bread together. I'm going to show y'all how to make these yeast rolls. Come on in this kitchen. Let's get it. First, you're going to need seven to seven and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You don't need to sift it. Next, you're going to need four and a half teaspoons of dry active yeast. You want to add it straight into whatever bowl you're mixing in. To activate the yeast, we're going to use a half a cup of warm water. Use a thermometer to temper the water. It needs to be 110 degrees to 115. Next, we got to feed the yeast. We're going to use a quarter cup of sugar to help activate the yeast. It's a living culture, so it has to feed in order to get happy and get to moving around. While the yeast is having a feast, we're going to temper the milk. We're going to do the same thing we did to the water. We're going to temper it to be 110 degrees to 115 degrees. Please make sure you use your thermometer. You do not want to have your milk too hot. And if your yeast does not look like this within five to 10 minutes, it's dead. Make sure you check the date on your yeast. Next, you're gonna to need to beat two large eggs, six tablespoons of vegetable shortening, or you can use butter, either or. Next, you're gonna add your eggs, and then you're gonna add one and a half teaspoon of salt, Next, you're going to add in about three cups of your flour. Don't add it all in at once. You're going to add it in a little at a time. And then you're going to add your milk. For my first mix, I'm going to use the paddle attachment. After it's well mixed, you want to switch to your dough hook. And then you want to add in a little bit more of your flour and let this mix for a minute. And then you're going to add in your remaining flour. This is your final mix. And if it's too sticky, you can always add in a little more flour. Your dough should start to pull away from the edges of the bowl. That's how you know that the dough is almost ready. After your dough finished mixing, it should be pulling away from the bowl just like this. If it's not, you can always just dust it with a little flour and that will help it along. Your dough should be nice and smooth, not sticky at all. Next, you're going to place your dough into a greased bowl. Make sure you grease it with some vegetable oil or a little butter or olive oil, either one. Just grease it. And then you're going to transfer your dough into your greased bowl. Take a clean, damp towel or paper towel, and then you're going to cover your dough. We're going to let it rest, and we're going to let it rise. After your dough has doubled in size, now we're ready to work with it. On a clean work surface, you're going to dust it with some flour. You're going to do this so the dough doesn't stick to the counter. Dust it with flour on both sides and we're going to work it. You're going to work and knead your dough for about two to three minutes so that we can roll it out. Melt one stick of butter, add some to your pan and save the rest to butter your bread. Now let's form our rolls. You want to roll them into little balls and you want to pinch the bottom of them to get that beautiful texture on the outside. If, it, if the skin blisters on the outside, you want to re-roll it to make sure it's nice and smooth on the outside, just like this. You're going to repeat this process until your pan is full. Make sure you leave enough space in between each roll so that they can rise again. When you finish, your pan should look like this and you want to recover it again for the second rising. While your dough is rising, you want to brush them with butter and let them continue to rise. After your bread has went from eight cups to double D's, you want to bake them for 350 degrees for approximately 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown. <laughs> and you know you did right when the beat on point. This was not planned. <laughs> and while your buns are still hot, you want to brush them with some more melted butter like it's suntan lotion. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Yeast rolls, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's all I gotta say. Oh my God. Gotta be more careful, y'all. Wow. And you already know, you like what you see? Try it. <laughs>